what is the best option? Trade inversion two, trade inversion three. We will see what is your best option, which protocol you need to use to launch your token now that we have two different options on Radium and for sure you can do it using Smith. If you didn't know, Radium has launched Radium version 3, which is a new UI that comes with a new standard, with a new protocol for the liquidity pool, CPMM. Before we had Radium version 2, which had their old standard, which is AMM, Automated Market Maker. And now they have made this Automated Market Maker with this new protocol and this new version, which allow us to create a liquidity pool much cheaper because we don't need to use an open book market. So let's go deeper on how we can do it and why we should or we shouldn't use this new version. If we go now to liquidity pools, we click on create. You can create a CLMM, which is not the best for a token, or AMM with new this new standard, which is CPMM. Okay, here is not stated, but they announced that if you are launching an automated market maker, a liquidity pool with this standard now on Radium version three, you are using CPMM. Okay, which is a new program they created. This one, I will show it, it to you later. And if we click here on continue we will only need to put the base token, the quote token and the price for the launch before we needed to add the open world market and the, with the tick size, the mineral size and all this. So that's the main difference and the difference also is on the price as I said 0.2, 0.3 sold so far for this new version and up to 3.5 sold in the old version. This new version have a problem is that it's not indexing well on Dex Screener and Verdai and also it's not being sniped and being shown on trading bots and that's the reason why if we check the programs on Solscan we can see this huge difference in the last seven days the CPMM program which is the new one have around 120,000 transactions and the Radium version 4, which is the previous one, had around 22 million transactions in the same time lapse. So that's the main difference and the main reason why. For example, if I go here, this is a token I created and I launched it to test this new version and we doesn't have any information in here, okay, it doesn't show the graph well. And also if we check this token on Verdai, we will see that since I started the liquidity pool, I was able to trade it after 40 minutes, okay? I wasn't able to trade it just when I created the liquidity pool. It has a delay. I don't know the exact the reason why, but it happens. And if you see, there is only one transaction, which is myself trying to buy the token, but it was not sniped and listed anywhere. So it's like invisible for everyone. And that's a problem. I mean, we may complain about the snipers, but we need them to generate the first volume, to generate the first traction and to attack people. So this is the main problem we have right now with this version. And that's the reason why I would recommend you to use this standard, at least for now. We can see the difference of volume. And for sure, if you are looking to attract as much people as possible, you need to use the protocol with more volume and that most people is using. In both cases, if you wanna create your liquidity pool, you can come to Smithy, you can come to create liquidity pool, you will have the link in the description <coughs> and create your liquidity pool on Radium version three, on version two, whatever you prefer. You can create on version two for only one soul. Okay, if you select here the advanced options, you can select a 0.4 open pool market. Here you have a tutorial on how to do this and it will be cheaper uh, not as cheaper as the version 3 but it will be on the version 2 and really cheap as well so in conclusion radium version 3 will be a banger really soon once it's indexed properly once it's working properly everywhere and will be the new meta for sure but for now until some weeks 
or month we should use Radium version 2 in order to push our token to get a big market cap and reach the volume we need to success in the market. So that's all for today. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.